Will Elon Musk kill Tesla? Bit dramatic, isn't it? How many people worldwide have not bought a Tesla because of Elon Musk? How many people will never buy a Tesla in the future because of Elon Musk? It ain't nothing, is it? I personally know quite a few people who I suspect would never buy a Tesla because of the big bad billionaire's supposed controversial opinions. I do wonder if you can think of friends and family members right now who you know would never buy a Tesla thanks to this monster of a human. Go humans, yes. Team humanity. The audacity. A whopping 40% of my subscribers say they know someone who is not willing to buy a Tesla because of Elon Musk. Okay, this is just a little poll, but I'm guessing of my wonderful, lovely, kind-hearted subscribers that they are perhaps Tesla fans that no doubt speak the socks off anyone willing to listen and have their fingers on the pulse of the general public's opinions. To any Tesla addict like me, these questions seem ridiculous. How could anyone care so much about what other people think of them that they would willfully boycott the safest, most fun-filled, futuristic, money-saving machines humans have ever played with, just so that they can virtue signal to their friends, family and even total strangers that they don't align their political views with that chief twit, Elon Musk? Seems a bit far-fetched to any logical thinking person, but we're not necessarily dealing with logical, critical thinking type people nowadays, are we? It appears to me that since mainstream and social media hijacked people's minds, numbing neural networks one day at a time with mind-numbing, spirit-crushing nonsense, that many people today don't seem very well equipped to think logically about anything. I'll stop myself there before I rant my way into an offensive monologue. But it's clear to me that there are many folk out there that have been put off the brand of Tesla, not quite because of the opinions or actions of Elon Musk, but in the warped, twisted headlines, articles and hit pieces that have found their way into the general public's consciousness. Not Elon's words or actions then, but spun out lies and BS. And I'm not alone in pointing this out. Watch this. How do you think uh -oh. the Elon brand is impacting Tesla's brand? Or do you think there is any impact there at all? 100%. I mean, there's a 100% there's a link between everything Elon says and does and the image of Tesla as a car manufacturer. There are clearly people, a, a lot of people who think he's an absolute hero and the savior of our planet. And it seems just as many people who are completely on the other side who thinks he's the Antichrist. There is no question that everything he says and does has a direct impact on Tesla. But I, you know, I hear of people like, I'm gonna have to sell my Tesla because it's just, I can't align myself with the things that uh, Elon's saying. But on the other side of the country, they're growing. Uh, it's, it's both good and bad when a, when a car company has a figurehead that's that prominent. That was Jason Commissa from Haggerty being interviewed by Farzad Mesbahi. I'll link to the full interview in the description below, well worth a watch. Jason was one of the first to review Tesla's Cybertruck recently and had somewhat of an epiphany over its abilities. But there's his opinion on Tesla's brand damage due to Elon. Clearly he sees it having an impact too. I don't want it to be the case that Elon is putting people off the Tesla brand, but I also like the truth, and the truth is, of course he's having an impact. But does it matter? Let's look at this objectively with Tesla's sales figures, which have exponentially grown year after year for years. Well, once we pop 2023's fourth quarter production numbers on top of this bar chart. With growth like this, who cares whether Elon has a slight negative effect on Tesla's brand? I do and I don't worry about Elon's impact on Tesla. On one hand, Tesla are killing it with groundbreaking products, massive advancements in manufacturing, technology, software, artificial intelligence, robotics. I do genuinely believe that Tesla will soon become the most valuable company that Earth has ever seen, with or without everyone being positively on board with the CEO's views, or rather misconstrued views. But then there's tribalism. Tribe mentality is the human tendency to seek out and connect with like-minded people who share common interests, beliefs or habits in a bit of a culty type way, I suppose. Oh, hi subscribers. <laughs> and if you are new here, welcome. Do like and subscribe. But tribalism does get out of hand, doesn't it? Just imagine having to align all your political views to either the red side or the blue side. No other choice. No grey areas of independent thinking allowed in between. Just pick a side, question nothing. There goes half my audience. Bye. Thanks for watching. But it is crazy, isn't it? Either all good or all bad, nothing in between. It's time we left tribalism to sports alone and everything else gets looked at rationally with facts, evidence and data. Truth is, we live in a grey world and Elon tends to bring this to our attention in ways that no other CEO would ever dare say. When you actually listen to what Elon has to say, it's always from the heart, based entirely in reality and almost always something to do with the betterment of humanity.
Could Tesla tribalism really become so polarizing that you might not dare drive around in a Tesla for fear that others might mistake you as a musketeer or on the side of team humanity, rather than the extinctionists who think the world would be a better place without humans? If you are on that side of the fence, you are not on team humanity. And if you think it's a waste of time, money and resources aiming to become a multi-planet species, you are not on team humanity. And I gently suggest that you ponder the very existence of humanity, the Earth and the universe until you realise just how precious we are as a species. Not just you, our species. And that it might be nice to carry on our 4.5 billion year journey of evolution into the future and out among the stars. Elon is team humanity through and through. He has dedicated his life, wealth and mental well-being to the betterment of humanity. He is working on the grandest of ideas with all his companies. It's unfortunate that not enough people understand that fact, but let me spell it out. Neuralink, working to restore vision for the blind, paralysed individuals to move and interact more independently by connecting their brains to computers. Starlink, now providing satellite internet services that cover most of the globe, giving access to the internet for the first time to some areas. SpaceX, making space travel a reality with relatively inexpensive, reusable, autonomous rockets and giving us at least the opportunity to one day become a multi-planet species. Then there's Tesla, that little startup company that's shown EVs to be the superior technology for transport, twisting the arms of every serious automaker to go electric or go bust. Oh, and give people the option to become energy independent thanks to an EV, solar and battery storage for your home. Tesla Energy, showing the world that storing renewable energy from wind and solar turns out to be a pretty good idea if we want a sustainable, clean, energy abundant future. All these incredible achievements and more, yet Elon is minced through the mainstream media meat grinder every day with accusations left, right and centre as being one of the world's most evil people. Do his actions look evil to you? Or is it more likely that there is so much BS about him that it's made its way to people's brains where it sits forevermore without critique? Big bad billionaire must be bad, the news told me so. To be fair, most CEOs never share a controversial thought, opinion or idea. It's just bad for business. Why upset the apple cart of board of directors, shareholders and indeed the consumers of your products if it might negatively impact your sales? Well, if you've got something important to say, say it. It is clear that never before has there been a CEO who speaks his mind as freely as Elon, from calling journalists out on their lies. That's a false. No, what I claimed, You just lied. What? No, no. To telling woke advertisers like Disney to... Go... Yourself. Myself and Elon share this one similarity, and spoiler alert, it's not our IQ. It's a total disdain for lies, dishonesty and corruption. To pair that up in an Elon Tesla smear campaign from multiple angles, from politics... In the auto industry, Detroit's leading the world in electric vehicles. Mary, I can remember talking to you way back in January about the need for America to lead in electric vehicles. And I can remember your dramatic announcement that by 2035, GM would be 100% electric. You changed the whole story, Mary, wherever, wherever you are. There you are. You did, Mary. You electrified the entire automobile industry. I'm serious. You led, and it matters. To companies like Consumer Reports that gave direct instructions of how to cheat Tesla's autopilot system. Just slip out of the seatbelt first. Illegal. Fit a cheat device onto the steering wheel. Illegal. And take no responsibility over the vehicle you are meant to be in control of. Illegal. Then there's the Daily Trash News, which I guarantee you've already seen somewhere this week. Two million Teslas recalled over steering issue. Good grief, that's a lot of work for Tesla service centres. Oh wait, it's just another over-the-air software fix. Oh. But why waste a perfectly good smear campaign by calling it an over-the-air update, when practically every article declares it as a recall? recall? And then begins the equally gross misinformation from the likes of Mercedes, who printed this story out and handed it to customers, including a lady who happens to own a Tesla and a Mercedes whilst it was in for a service. I guess these despicable car companies need to play every dirty trick in the book to slow down Tesla's market share in the EV department. Gross, Mercedes! Hang your heads in shame! There are so many examples of companies, politicians, news organisations and quite frankly, bad actors trying desperately hard to bring down Elon Musk, smear his companies with negativity in a bid to either slow him down or at least tarnish Elon associated brands. But I don't think it's working anymore. Enough people are waking up to being lied to. 
Enough people are benefiting from Tesla's products from their cars, home battery storage, Starlink, internet service, and even X, the only social media platform left on earth that is dedicated to seeking the truth, that calls out corruption and brings it to our attention. A uniquely transparent platform that rightly pedestals free speech like nothing before it. Uncensored, unapologetic, but law-abiding opinions and voices. You know free speech exists when you hear opinions that you disagree with. Can that be said of other social media platforms? It's hardly any wonder then that the establishment are doing all they can to silence Elon Musk in a world where every country he visits treats him like royalty as they know full well that doing business with Elon, building a factory here, building a giant battery energy storage facility there is a good thing for the citizens of their countries. World leaders are embracing the fact that Elon happens to be a genius of our time. But couple that with a gigantic pair of balls that's not afraid to speak his mind and speak truth to power and you get a rather controversial individual. If more CEOs and individuals had the courage or even ability to speak the truth in today's crazy world, we would perhaps be on a better track for the future. But as it stands, people dare not speak their mind for fear of losing their jobs and their livelihoods. What a weird time we live in. So will Elon kill Tesla? Of course not. He's kept Tesla alive against extraordinary odds in the past and is still the ultimate driving force behind Tesla today. As Franz von Holzhausen put it recently, Elon pushes us to another level and that goes for every Elon employee. If you're fortunate enough to be one of the brightest, most talented of engineers or individuals, you know there's only Elon's companies that will push you to limits you didn't know existed within you. And that leaves people like myself, quite simply, in awe of what you are collectively achieving at any of Elon's companies. Myself and others recognise the difference Elon has brought about for improving our lives. But for those determined to boycott Tesla? Well, they're the ones missing out. What do I care? Do like and subscribe if you want to follow my journey as I document Tesla's ludicrous growth into the future. I'd also love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. What have I got wrong? And do you agree or disagree with the premise of this video? Thanks to my wonderful Patreon supporters right here who are supporting me. You can join them on this list too, get a few extra perks and be immortalised on YouTube forever. How about that? Link in the description below. I'm Will, this is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.